It is with no doubt that the United Kingdom is in need of skilled workers. They have recently released the new fast track visa. This particular visa will of course favor 95% of those who intend to migrate to the United Kingdom. This particular new fast track visa is for almost every profession. Be you an engineer, a teacher, an IT specialist, a nurse or a nursing assistant, a pharmacist, a doctor, a cook, whatever profession this particular new fast track visa favors almost every profession in this particular video i'm going to break everything down for everyone to understand do well to watch this video to the end nurse queen hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for tuning in again if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is nurse queen on this channel we talk about migration and living abroad i also make videos on health nursing lifestyle beauty and little vlogs if this sounds interesting to you please subscribe to this channel and join the family and also please don't forget to hit your bell notification button so you never have to miss any video from me on today's video i'll be talking about the new fast track visa which the uk government launched on the 22 of august 2022 this particular visa is called the uk scale up visa which can also be called the scale up business the united kingdom had actually announced this particular visa months ago but they finally made it published or let me say they finally made it eligible for everyone to apply on the 22nd of august 2022 which means if you are watching me now and you know you are a skilled worker please check for your suitability in order to apply for this particular visa because almost all professions were included in this particular visa so i'm going to show you everything on the screen and it's actually on their official website so you can rush there and see your eligibility i'll also make videos on which profession is eligible for this particular visa type and also a separate videos for companies that are scaled up companies and how you can apply for scaled up companies so please make sure you stick to this channel make sure you subscribe and please make sure you follow up my videos because everything will be given to you in detailed form so on their official website which is what i'll paste on the screen and it will take you directly to the scale up worker visa now let's start off with the overview so i'm going to take you through every step of the way you're going to see um everything about the um, job you're going to see also informations on language on the course documents you need to apply and how you can apply from outside the uk how you can extend your visa how you can switch your visa and all other information or updates on employment and if you can take your partner and your children along with you everything will be explained in detail in this particular video so please make sure you follow up and please don't skip any part of the video let's start off with what a scale of visa is a scale of visa allows you to come to the uk to do an eligible job for a fast-growing uk business sometimes called a scale of business and the uk employer must meet specific eligibility criteria to sponsor scale of workers along this video i'm going to tell you the specific eligibility criteria that this uk employer is supposed to have in order to sponsor a scale of worker but first i'm going to start off with your own eligibility what are you supposed to have in order to qualify as a scale up worker you are supposed to have a confirmed job offer to work for an approved scale up business for at least six months which means after six months you are a free person the second thing you're supposed to have is a certificate of sponsorship from your employer and with information about the role which you have been offered in the UK. You're also supposed to have a job offer to do a job that is on the list of eligible occupations, which I said, I'm going to make a separate video for it because there are thousands of professions. And if you don't check it properly, you might not know if you're qualified or not. So I'm going to make a separate video for this so that this particular video will not be too bulky and people will be able to follow up, you know, how the procedure works the fourth thing is that you're supposed to be paid a minimum salary in your job this particular point i find it so good because 
some people might misuse you some people might abuse you like you might get a job and they pay you below the minimum wage so when i'm making the extra video about the eligible occupations i will tell you how much each profession or let me see how much each occupation is supposed to end at the end of the year like an average they're supposed to end at the end of the year and also an average you're supposed to end per hour so that if you're going in for an application for a job or if you're applying for a particular job you should already have in mind how much they pay you averagely per hour and how much they pay you averagely at the end of the year so that you don't get abused so that your manpower should not be wasted now in order for you to get an eligible job what are actually the criteria or let me see what are actually the requirements to be eligible for a skill or worker visa like your particular job now this particular job first of all has to be eligible for this particular visa and you have to be working with a scale up business that has been approved by a home office i'm also going to be providing you with the list of scale up companies that has been approved by the home office before a company writes you and tell you that you have a job offer and once you verify with this list of scale up workers and you don't find them there just know they have not been approved and just know it is a scam and please i will also use this opportunity to say that if you are looking for a job especially in the uk you are not supposed to pay any money to anyone everything you're supposed to do everything you need to know it is stated on their official websites and if you have questions or if you have doubt on a particular video which i have made on my channel you can always check on the description box of every video not the comment section but the description box of every video and also on my channel description you will have the direct link to all my handles where you can contact me and especially on telegram i answer almost immediately please do not pay money to anyone for any visa procedure. Everything you need to know is free of charge. There are thousands of people that have migrated abroad, especially the United Kingdom, and they haven't paid a dime to anyone. Let's move over to the salary requirement. You will need to be paid whichever is the highest out of the following three options. So the first one is £33,000 per year or £10.10 per hour or the ongoing rate for the particular work you'll be doing for those who don't know what ongoing rate means it simply means that if for example a particular company is supposed to pay you thirty six thousand pounds at the end of the year but your salary at that time or let me say the salary they pay you at the end of the year is thirty four thousand five hundred pounds it means that they are paying you below their going rate they are supposed to pay you at least the £36,000. You must have a job offer from an approved UK employer before you can apply for the scale-up visa. And this particular employer must be eligible for a scale-up business in order for them to get approved. Approved employers are also known as sponsors because they are sponsoring you for you to come to the UK. Let me break this down. In order for a UK employer to sponsor a scale-up worker, he or she must meet up with these three specific eligible criteria. The first one is that they must be an eligible fast-growing business, also called a scale-up business. The second point is that the employer's company or the employer's business must have grown by 20% on average in each year in either employment or total sales or let me say total turnover the third point is that they must have had at least 10 employees at the start of the three-year period this certificate of sponsorship that you get from your employer is supposed to carry your job role your salary scheme the address everything that has to do with this particular job role so every important detail is supposed to be specified in this particular certificate of sponsorship and also your certificate of sponsorship is supposed to carry your job code so for example your job code is 1130 once they check on 1130 it will give them maybe your job role or let me see your specific job is maybe like uh, let me see a sales person or a teacher or an it specialist it will take you directly to where 
they want to check so they'll actually check this particular job role and also check similar job roles that fit this particular job role the cos is an electronic record not a physical document and this particular cos will carry a reference number which you will need for your visa application once you get your cos for example today you have a period of three months to have applied for your visa already and of course in every cos they will actually tell you the particular stats or let me see the official start date of your job with the scale of worker visa you can actually stay in the uk for up to two years you will need to extend your visa when it expires here is a thing once your employer offers you a six months contract you are supposed to work with them for that six months you are supposed to work with them for at least six months after these six months if you have been treated right you can actually continue working with them but if not you can look for a different work but this particular work that you're getting you don't even need sponsorship so you don't even need to report back to the home office to tell them your employment status you can stay in the uk for up to two years and with this particular second company which you have gotten you don't need sponsorship from them but now here is a thing after you're working with this particular company they should of course meet up with a salary scheme so at the end of the year what this company pays you it should meet up with a salary scheme let me see the annual salary. Let me say at the end of the year, it is supposed to pay you £34,000. It should be £34,000. So that after these two years, you can now go to the home office in order to extend your visa. Because if you don't meet up with this annual scheme, this annual salary, the home office after two years will not be able to extend your visa. You can extend your visa as many times as you like by three years as long as you still meet the eligibility requirements after five years you may be able to apply to settle permanently in the uk also known as indefinite leave to remain this will give you the right to live work study as long as you like and also you can apply for benefits if you are eligible how to apply there are three different sections for those who are out of the uk or let me say for those who are outside the uk for those who are in the uk and then they want to extend their visa or for those who are in the uk i want to switch their visa if you want to change your employer during the first six months of working in your sponsor job you must apply to update your visa now here is my advice and for those who intend to switch their visa if you get to the uk with a six months employment contract my advice stay with this company till after that six months so that you can still keep this particular scale of visa after that you can now choose whatever thing you want to do because if you have to stop this job before that six months right and you want to go and update your visa what if they complicate you there what if they tell you something else what if they tell you to go back to your home country and re-enter with a new updated visa so my advice is that don't switch your visa immediately and work with them for this particular period of time and then you can now change so that you don't get any complications because you might face a situation where you go to change your visa and then they tell the home office something else and then when you get there you get a rejection you have to go back to your home country so based on traveling experience persevere with them for six months and then you can now you know quit the job and get a different job which will actually pay you much more better or maybe with a different um or let me say with a better working condition concerning your partner and your children you can actually take them if they meet the criteria if they meet this eligible criteria you should be able to show proof of funds you should be able to show your relationship with your partner and with your children so for your partner and your children i will pin this video in the description box below so you can also check it like which particular eligibility they are supposed to be in possession of in order for them to you know join you in the uk so please make sure you check the description box not the comment section but the description box of this particular video as part of your application you will need to prove your identity how you do this will depend on where you are from and what type of passport you have you can actually choose to go to a visa application center and get your fingerprints and photograph taken and this will actually get you a biometric resident permit you can actually use the app which is a uk id check app so in this particular app you can actually go there and then you scan your identity document 
and also you also need to create or sign into your uk visa and migration accounts so once you're in this particular app you'll be told what to do for those who don't have access to all of these they may need to travel to the nearest visa application center this could be in a different country let's move over to the list of documents you're supposed to be in possession of when applying for this particular visa first your cos it should have a reference number and in this particular cos it should carry your job description the job title your annual salary and your jobs occupation code your cos is also supposed to carry the name of your employer and their sponsored license number you're supposed to have proof of language which is of course the english language i have made a separate video on how you can migrate to the uk through seven different ways without needing IELTS test. So please make sure you check my channel for this particular video and you make sure you watch this particular video. So the next requirement is for you to have a valid passport or other identification documents and this particular passport should have at least two to three blank pages. There are other documents that are supposed to be in possession of depending on the circumstance. In your COS, if your employer opts to support you with your proof of funds, then you don't need to show evidence of that but if not you're supposed to show evidence that you have enough money or let me say enough personal savings to support yourself in the uk and that's approximately 1270 pounds you are supposed to provide a tuberculosis test and that is actually from certain countries depending on your situation you're supposed to show academic technology approval scheme this is actually a certificate to study certain subjects in the uk if you're outside the uk you can get your decision within three weeks if you're in the uk you can get your decision within eight weeks let's go now to cost how much everything costs now the first thing is the application fee your application fee is about 715 pounds the second expenditure is for healthcare, which is usually about 624 pounds now depending on if you're alone or you're going with your family if of course you're going with your family the amount will be more than this 624 pounds per year you are supposed to show evidence that you have enough money to support yourself when you arrive in the uk and if of course you're going with your family the proof of fund is going to be higher than this stipulated amount of 1270 pounds let's go now to the very important point that is what you can do and what you cannot do with your scale up worker visa now let's start off with what you can do with your scale up worker visa one you can work in your sponsored job for at least six months two you can leave your sponsored job after six months three you can study four you can bring your partner and children with you as your dependent if they are eligible five you can take additional work including becoming self-employed six you can do voluntary work seven you can travel abroad and return to the uk eight you can also apply to settle permanently in the uk also known as indefinite leave to remain after you have lived in the uk for five years and you have met other eligibility requirements now let's go now to what you cannot do you cannot apply for most benefits, especially public funds or the state pension. You cannot work as a professional sports person, for example, as sports coach. If you succeed with your application, you will be given a full list of what you can do and what you cannot do with a scale-up visa. During the first six months of your stay in the UK, you cannot change your employer unless you apply to update your visa this is what i explained earlier and i said it is very very risky i prefer you stay with your employer till that six months elapses then you can either choose to stay with your employer or you can change your employer after your six months you can choose to continue working in your job or you can choose to change or stop doing your job even without telling the home office, you can also be self-employed. In this case, you do not need to update your visa. But if at all you do that before the six months, then you need to update your visa. And that is much more risky for you. You can, of course, extend your scale-up worker visa even without a new sponsor. But you must meet the salary requirements. 
thank you all so much for watching this video i really appreciate and please if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do that immediately and join the family and also do not forget to press your bell notification button so you never have to miss any video from me i promise you are not going to regret it i love you all and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye